Today we're going to talk about uh, working safely with band saws. Now the band saw is one of the most versatile saws around. Now, there are large ones, vertical band saws uh, or horizontal band saws. Uh, we see the larger ones, larger versions of this in shops very often. But and we typically tend to use quarter bands, the smaller band saws. But the underlying principle as far as the safety is concerned is pretty much the same. So we're going to talk about the use of band saws today, understanding that you're probably going to be most often using a port -a band uh, So first make cer certain that the band saw blade you're using is suitable for the type of the material that you're cutting and the type of cut you're going to be making. Uh, for example, wider blades with fewer teeth are usually best suited for making rough cuts. Thinner blades with more teeth are better suited for making scroll cuts and tight turns. Uh, you can buy various types of port band blades. Uh, not all of them are exactly the same, so just make sure you have the right band saw blade for what you're doing. Also, make sure the saw blade's been set to the proper tension before use and periodically recheck and readjust the tension when needed. Uh, also make certain there are no broken teeth, bent sections or other damage to the blade. Now, when you put it on a port -a band uh, because the latch on the back side sets it to a pretension, you just need to make sure that it's fully engaged. Uh, also adjust the blade guide uh, as close to the material being cut as practically possible. Now, with a port -a band of course, we're uh, putting it right up next to the, to the backstop when we're doing our cutting so that we can maintain a, a, a solid uh, run on it. So make sure that the, the cut is being made as close as possible to that uh, particular plate that's on the back side, back end uh, of the saw where the saw blade runs. Uh, so then also make sure all enclosures or access covers over pulleys and the saw blade are closed, secured to prevent accidental contact. Uh, with uh, the sharp, with the blade and with the nip points. Uh, if you're going to cut anything else other than steel, uh, like if you're cutting a piece of wood or something, inspect the material for knots and nails and things like that. Uh, that could create a hazard if they contact the saw blade. Avoid making cuts that strike those objects. Then never place any part of your hand directly in line with the saw blade when you're uh, working material and cutting it. Instead, make sure your hands stay to the sides of the saw blade. You have two handles on it, one at the back and a port -a band, one at the back, one in the front there. And that should be where your hands are located while you're using a port -a band. Uh, and if you have to uh, make an adjustment, make sure that the blade is uh, shut off, pull the trigger or let, let go of the trigger so that you can make your cut properly. Uh, and then you don't want to pick up material that's been cut until the machine's been turned off and the saw blades come to a complete stop. And obviously you would also be wanting to wear uh, proper PPE and be sure to avoid wearing anything that's going to get sucked into the blade uh, while you're using it. Uh, so these are just some general guidelines. As I say, we tend to be using porta bands mostly. Uh, however, they do qualify as a, a bandsaw, so we need to make sure that we uh, use them safely uh, and successfully.